Well, just want to start with uh, two teams really battling it defensively. I think both teams uh, struggled to put some points on the board today. Uh, uh, great job by Northern Colorado, tremendous defense today, and uh, really proud of our kids' grittiness, uh, causing enough mistakes and uh, hitting some free throws down the stretch. Questions for the student athletes? Parker Cotton from the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. Uh, KJ and, and Maddie, can you both speak to what kind of poise you saw kind of throughout the game, maybe especially defensively from all the freshmen that go that go into this game? Um, yeah, we kind of prepared our freshmen that there was going to be times like this. Um, there was the other team was going to go on runs. We know we had to respond, and I think uh, they just did a really good job of just staying level headed. And you know, it started with us, and if we were composed, they were composed. So I think they did that. in the way that Montana State does. And it was just, it, everything just felt like it clicked out there as far as our defense. And it, it was just a, it was just a good time. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah, go ahead. Anybody else? And obviously a different result and different defensive performance from your first game at this tournament last year. How nice is it to have seen that turnaround and to be sticking around a little bit longer? Yeah, I mean, every year is different. And I think this year we just battled till our hearts were going to give out, honestly. And I think just, you know, keeping last year in the back of our minds was just something we wanted to get over and honestly forget. Um, and so this year, we just wanted to come out here and respond. And I think that's what we did. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we went into this game going to lay our bodies on the line, going to fly around, going to communicate. And I think that it really showed out on the floor today. And I'm just, I'm incredibly proud of us. And it was, it was a tight game, but man, it, it was fun. It was good. Um, Grace Lawrence, MTN Sports. Can you guys just talk about how many, you guys have been in so many close games, ones that haven't gone your way. How much did that prepare you, your young core, for today to pull this one out? Um, I think with being put in that situation quite a few times within our season has, you know, helped with our freshmen being able to, you know, play under a lot of, a lot of pressure. I mean, you have your crowd out there behind you. You want to win for your crowd. You want to win for your team. You want to win for your coaching staff. And you want to win for yourself as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bittersweet thing now looking back on it. You know, I, I didn't even realize, you know, that it actually has gotten us ready on how to game plan within the game. You know, I mean, and coming together in our tight huddles, little things we have to focus on. And uh, the composure part, I feel, really showed. I mean, we. We're not going to give up, can't count us out, can't ever count us out. I mean, we're going to battle until the end. Yeah, we've been in a lot of close games, and, you know, some haven't gone our way, but just continuing continuing to fight every single possession, honestly, is what we did. Um, diving on the floor, you know, getting rebounds, stuff we can control is what I think we executed to the best of our ability today, and I think that's allowed us just to get the win and, honestly, just to come out on top. This will be our final question for the student-athletes. Ethan Becker, NBC Montana. Um, Izzy Bunyan, those last four minutes of regulation in overtime, came up clutch both offensively and just defensively. Just how have you seen her grown all the way throughout the year just to, for this moment to come up big for y'all? Yeah, we're really proud of Izzy. You know, she put so much effort and heart into the game, and just to allow it to come to full show today was honestly just so amazing. We know she has it in her, and we just want to bring it out in her, and I think she really showed it today. Yeah, Izzy. Izzy is a quiet, shy kid, but man, she she really knows how to work. And it was so fun seeing her today. You know, after she had gotten that jump ball, and it was our ball, and she she I think she yelled out, "Let's go!" Yeah. It, that was the loudest I'd ever heard her, ever heard her. And it's just it's fun watching her, you know, evolve into her game and get more confidence and realize that we all trust in each and every single one of them. Like there, I mean, there's no room for no trust. I mean, you have to. Yep. And, you know, with our limited numbers, with, you know, seniors and upperclassmen compared to our underclassmen, I mean, they've stepped up. They've continued to step up, and they grow every game. So it's it's super fun to see just from, you know, a veteran. Congratulations again, you two. And uh, you're welcome to stay if you'd like. Coach, it's up to you. That, that was a slugfest. They let them play, as the cliche goes. And I know you've been in a couple of these. That had to be right up there, though, uh, even though this is only your first game in the tournament. I certainly didn't get younger today. Um, 
No, I, you know, Big Sky Tournament time, uh, we talked about uh, our preseason schedule, the adversity with the injuries, the kids in and out all season long. Um, we're, we're ready for grinds, and uh, this was certainly that. And uh, there was an opportunity for UNC to kind of break away. I think we got down six uh, and uh, took a timeout, and I think we hit our first three right after that. And that was kind of a turning point for us where I felt like our kids played to win the game at that point. Um, so that was huge for us to turn the corner on that end. Uh, certainly was not a fantastic day offensively, but defense gives you chances always, and that's certainly been the case for this team all year. Trish, uh, Greg Rockach, MTN Sports. Um, when you look at the rebounding numbers, I think they... They're uh, not pretty. You're right. Somebody told me it's better to win ugly than to lose pretty. So I'm going to win ugly, and tomorrow we have to be a lot better defensively on the glass. Right. Well, and just how do you think you were able to weather that? Uh, our steals. I'm like, bottom line is we caused 26 uh, more opportunities for our team. And uh, we certainly weren't um, great in that. We would love to get more out of transition. We'd love to get more in the half court. I thought Northern Colorado did a great job with zone looks, man looks. Uh, we really had to simplify in that fourth quarter for, uh, for our looks against that. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, uh, hitting some shots, right? So, you know, the free throws down the stretch, I thought that was the biggest key for us. We hit the free throws down the stretch when we needed to. We got stopped when we needed to. Uh, I think somebody mentioned Izzy Bunyan. Uh, her length, I thought a couple possessions late in that game were really critical for us. Um, but you have length that's been disruptive all, all year for this team. It was the, for sure the turnovers. We have enough time for two more questions. Uh. Hi, Coach. I'm Ann Delaney from the Greeley Tribune. And I just wanted to know the, the shooting. I, I didn't see the final stats, so I'm sorry about that. But the shooting was with both teams was ugly. Um, in, in the first, I mean, low percentages. What was going on? Why, why was that happening on, on the floor that neither team? You know, was I'm going to say both defenses were incredible today. Uh, you know, there were definitely some looks that, you know, were like, lid, lid, lid needs to come off. Um, but there were also some looks for both teams that I thought some defenses created a little bit more challenging. So there's some that yet need to say, like, okay, but once you, if you keep them rushed or if you keep them disrupted, uh, it's hard to get into that rhythm. And uh, is he hitting that? first one for us was huge. I think we hit a second. I think that's all we ended up with today. Um, but at the same time, you know, defenses uh, definitely make those things difficult. And that was that was a lot that you saw today. It was a, it was a grind on both ends, really physical game. And coach, just to finish, uh, you now have Eastern for a third time this season. You've, of course, played them so close uh, in the first two. What do you expect out of them a, a third time? How do you hope to come out tomorrow? Well, first thing for us is uh, just making sure we get our kids off their feet. You know, we want to recover. Uh, it's back to back for us, but I kind of like the back to back. Just get them right back on the court. Um, you know, just uh, get into that rhythm. It's a very familiar scout. Um, there will be a couple things here, but I, I like the fact that we've played them recently so our kids can just really focusing on to their next. Coach Benford, Caitlin, Madison, thanks for your time. Thank Congratulations you. on a hard fought W.